I call the shots, I never call it quits. Trust my intuition, bet it's right, and bitch, it often is. Seen too many others come and go, they had the wrong intent. Do it out of love and never for it, then I watch it get bigger than expected. No second guess it, I let it set in. It's God's plan, we out here only accepting blessings. I'm stuck with it, this mindset is terminal. In and out different terminals, leveling up is personal. And I already made it, y'all can miss me. I smack my girl's ass, tell her pinch me. It's hard to believe I made something from nothing. No hindsight discussions. I've been writing, I love it. Welcome to the Three Gig Sports Podcast, where we are never wrong, just sometimes misinformed. We got a house full of tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmer, Miley, Rio, who led our Garner wrestling team. To state this year, we had a big year for Garner Wrestling, right? We did. Yeah, we did. Hell yeah. We had four guys down there? Uh, three guys. School, three. Re- school record and uh, the f- highest finish since 92. Well, what was the final finish for you guys? I don't know team-wise, but oh, team- it, Luke, Luke, uh, the highest uh, place winner for Garner since like 92. What did Lucas get? Fourth. Fourth, yep. yep. Hell Be- yeah. Beat uh, the number three ranked kid. 14 seed, made the semis. Lost to the champ and then lost in the third and fourth place match to the kid who beat him at districts for most age. So, okay. But there I mean, go. oh, I mean, lost by three, three points total. The two matches he's lost. It's not so. bad at all. Bad. Shoot, hell yeah. yeah. State champion next year. State champ. State champ. We'll take it, man. Lots of love for state tourney time. We're wrestling, basketball. Malachi actually finished the season. Did you see that? Like I top did. ten and threes in the state yep. or three percentage? I don't remember three what it point was. Three percentage. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Which uh, is from a dude awesome. that if you if he called his mom, his mom said that when he's playing for Mason City, that every time he would shoot a three, the coach would pull him. Really. Fifty-one percent from the from the three-point arc says otherwise, right? <laughs> like, I'd say so. Three and D, the definition of it. Dude uh, also was like t- one of the tops in the state and taking charges. So. Oh. Yeah, oh, man. Every highlight I saw, it seemed like he was taking charges and then running down. And dude, the kid's awesome. It was fucking really cool to see. Uh, I think we'll roll with. You better have something about your fucking moon talk. Oh, uh, da da Tell us about the moon, Miles. The moon. They say that uh, the Americans were the first people to land on it. Correct. No. Yeah, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it made him think twice. Oh, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> or, or it could have been the monkeys they sent up in the ships and blew them up for their deaths. But whatever way you want to go with it. Okay. Anyways, okay. I have came across some, I would call it realistic info. Okay. Um, I'm calling it realistic because I can't call it believable because it's not believable, but I believe it. So realistic. They have seen images of pyramids on the moon and a bridge that runs across the moon. Like across the whole moon? Not the whole moon, but like like there was a section at one time that had a bridge. And you can tell Is from it? the image that I have looked at that I mean it's either a really flat area or there was once a bridge. Are you talking so that? No, I don't believe in that stuff because the government can. This is NASA on it. Yeah, NASA could literally take a picture of a blanket that looks like the moon, and I'm gonna believe it. What? So who? So who? Please, please tell us. Or you're gonna? These people are gonna believe. Is it just like weather underground, like moon underground, or what? Like, dude, there's a pyramid right there. Look, you said not believe it. You said NASA. Oh, NASA's actually saying there's a pyramid. It's right there. See, now they're putting it right in front of your face. Dude, that looks like a zit. Oh yeah, a pyramid would look like a zit on the on on Earth if you looked at it that way. So the to go with Miles here, the pyramid is harder to tell. It looks like it could have been a pyramid from the image, right? But the bridges, so it does. The image does show two natural, what looks like two natural bridges. This is actually from NASA, from the website. So if you look closely at both of the pits, um, you can see a little crescent in its floor. And there's a patch of light that comes under it that looks like it could have been a man-made bridge, essentially. So the bridge thing holds a little more water than the pyramid side. Like, there, the image of the pyramid is tough. Like, if you look at it, it's super far away, right? And you could just see a triangle, what looks like a triangle. Maybe it's man-made. Maybe, 
you know, fucking meteor or whatever hit it. Mm. But the bridge thing seems more realistic uh, for sure. So now are you ready? Oh, you have more? The Illuminati, the yeah. triangle, oh, pyramid, here we go. pyramids on every planet, pyramids open wormholes, wormholes is brings in parallel universes. I need more drugs for this. <laughs> I'm or telling least, you, you or at least some. You can't tell me that <laughs> that that the moon has a pyramid, Earth has pyramids. And there's not some form of you pyramid think? scheme going on. Miles, here. miles. They're selling something. They selling it for more. There's a pyramid <laughs> scheme. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what did you take before coming here? <laughs> my meds. <laughs> there's my meds. This oh, way. Oh shit. <laughs> pyramid. Okay. A pyramid scheme. They get transport, right? Is that what we're talking about? No. So I, I I am going out on a reach here, but all in all, in my thoughts, you can't tell me. That if if the moon has pyramids and we have pyramids, mm-hmm. I'm starting to believe every damn planet, other than the stars, because it's too hot to touch, all got all got pyramids on. So two out of the nine, and we're just we're for sure. Yeah, well, all you nine? you get the Mars and Pluto. Pluto's not a planet. Yeah, Pluto. Oh, not a planet. Pluto got put back as a planet. They did. Yeah. Did it really? Did it finally? <laughs> It's, I think it's gone back and forth like three times, but the, mo- the most Jay- recent one okay. I saw it was. It's yeah. bisexual. You, well, it so you, don't, you know what happens is because it, it and another st- star. star, a moon, orbit itself. So Dwarf star. They, oh, they trade turns orbiting each other. Yep. Yeah. That's weird as shit. And so then, actually just learn, I mean, learn that from uh, when you're down Des Moines for, uh, or not Des Moines, Waterloo for Axel and the state. And... We went to observatory or whatever oh, okay. and did this whole, it's pretty cool. You lean back in your chair and takes you through space and stuff and shows you a uh, little stuff. And yeah, that's why they took it off because it doesn't, it not only does it orbit the sun, but it also orbits, it takes turn orbiting that's true. that and it's moon. Okay. Yeah. They take turns orbiting each other. So you didn't find the Amber star on Jurassic park and uncover it and then bring back dinosaurs from the living and kill everybody. I was going to go a different route. In your travels in space of watching this, you didn't see any pyramids? Uh, No, no pyramids, but they did say there was a moon that actually had weather on it. And uh, I can't remember which one it was, like Saturn or maybe Venus. Uh, it was the only moon that had, um, it looks like it had at one point weather, water, and stuff like that. And it, yeah. Awful well, that's pretty cool. suspicious. Yeah. All right. That's the All conspiracy right. corner today. Uh, pyramid schemes. That's what we're calling this. Pyramid, pyramid schemes. Pyramid schemes. Yep. Aliens are selling shit to, to Jesus, and Jesus is selling it to us. Let's go. Hey, you leave Jesus and his brothers out of here. <laughs> I, got, I got a little bit of a rant before we roll the sports. Ooh, a rant. Let's go, buddy. So I don't know if you guys saw Biden's uh, his uh, budget. His, what is it, 2024 budget? Is it giving me money? Uh, I don't give a fuck about his budget Uh, Like across the board It's like one of the biggest ones ever asked for And in 10 years He claims that it'll pay back Start paying towards our national debt Cut it down by 6 trillion dollars Now Just a couple little fast forward things here for you Number one First one is uh, They take in the Industry or whatever uh, the, The corporate Corporate tax up from 21 to 27 percent, which may not seem like a big deal, but I, I don't know. Just thinking huh. in my own head, <laughs> why would I want to pay? I already have to pay my employees a ridiculous wage because inflation went up here, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then I got to pay 27 percent tax. Why don't I just move right across the border mm-hmm. or pay your employees less or pay your employees more? charge more for everything to make up for that which, which we is all we felt that over the last couple right? years right yeah, yeah. right mm-hmm. yeah. or become 100 percent listen, only. listen to this crazy one and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna nut this one 100 percent either i i understand i'm not going to because it's, it's kind of hard to understand so you know capital gains like uh most of the time you don't have to pay a tax on that until you cash out right never heard of her yeah that is set to change if this goes through exactly what? how it is yes you would have to pay 
Um, let's say you bought like the easiest way I heard it explained was you bought a fifty dollar McDonald's stock. Uh, the end of the year goes up for some reason goes up to two hundred. You're paying tax on that yep. gain right out of the gate, and that's without you drawing it out. Drawing it out. Yep. Gets better. This what? is the part where it gets confusing. Is that you you pay future future tax on capital gain that isn't there yet. So, well, you already do that with your home. Usually. Yeah. I mean, you own your home, but so it's different. Yeah. But like I me, mean, escrowed, they estimate my taxes, right? So I'm yeah. already paying future what they think. Yeah, is. but this is like for everything. This is like your cat. What I mean is like your capital. Gain. No, like, but yeah, your house. You're, yeah. you're missing the big thing on this. This isn't going to affect inheritances because if your family bought land for a thousand acres back in 1976 and now your acreage is worth every acre is worth 10 grand you got to pay capital gains and then you got to pay future on that the the way under also yeah absolutely the way i also understood it is that when you do withdraw you'll get taxed again if you withdraw yeah yeah, you'll see yeah you'll of course taxed oh that again. won't of course there's no on way top that, of yeah, the, already them pulling it there's like no if way you that went goes up 150 through. bucks on it, huh there's no way that goes through there's i don't no think way. i don't think it will either i'm telling you what the craziness that is getting proposed right now this is where like the and there's way, even way more than that. I just my point is is because it's like twenty five percent of your income if you're four hundred thousand dollars or more, twenty five percent taxed. This is why I don't vote. So a hundred thousand dollars of your four hundred thousand dollar income it, taxes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's only that's not included all the other taxes you already pay. Right. So you're over fifty percent no matter yeah, what. But, yeah. Right? So if you make twenty million a year, you you only got to pay four hundred in taxes. Well, at least but you're eating the all rest into of us got to because. Pay into it. People, lots of people go, um, you know, same thing kind of when Biden got voted in, Trump got voted out. They looked at the big things when they voted. You know, it's they're going to look at, oh, we're taxing big time companies more. Yes. Awesome. And that's it. That's they stop looking there. They don't look they're like, that's what we wanted. Yes. They don't look at everything else. You just explained. Right. Danny, what you do know, you kind of like when Biden got voted in? Oh, Trump's he's let's get him out because he's mean on Twitter. Let's free college. Boom. They didn't look at everything else right it's and the there's same thing. no free college either there's no free weird college. oh 10 grand for some people hoodwinked uh but, but yeah the the bigger thing beyond this is uh exactly what rio just said so they're looking at how it affects billionaires right so elon musk bezos those guys that are billionaires they're not it's not like they we've talked about this right they don't just have a several billion dollars in the bank it's their value yep. of what they own and things like that right so as that value increases they're going to tax that yep Okay, if you if you're about that, then you're about that, right? The problem is it's not just that. They that will it. include your 401k. That will include any investments that you have, which you know 80 percent, 90 percent of Americans have as far as investments. So if this economy of ours rebounds and people start making money, you're going to get taxed the shit out of now because of this. Or that's or, what people aren't looking at. It's going to affect everybody, not just those guys, and they're going to find loopholes anyway. Yeah, you're not going to be money, able to money to find the loopholes, the, loopholes, the write offs. Be there, right? Because right? They're, they're multimillionaires. They're, exactly. They're, they're going to jack Emperor. prices up, prices yeah. on. You know, they're going to lower wages or not, or ship the jobs across the border where people will work for ten dollars an hour. That's what will happen. Daddy, exactly. Daddy. You remember that infamous line, right, where uh, Hillary and Donald Trump were debating, and they asked him, did you uh, not pay taxes? Did you find loopholes on a not pay taxes? And he's like, yeah, that's what I do. I pay people to do that for me because you guys made the loopholes so that I don't have to pay taxes on that. That's exactly what's going on. Right. It's not going to affect not those guys. Change the law. You're not going to change the law right. because it will affect you, all your donors that, pay, yeah. that do, exactly. donate you money, right? <laughs> Danny, yeah. your first 30 words nailed it. Because if you do tax Jeff Bezos and them more, what are they going to do? <clears throat> well, fuck it. If I'm going to get taxed more now, I got to make up for everything I lost. So this five dollar, this five dollar pan on Amazon now cost twenty five percent more. So thirty dollars for a five dollar pan now. Yeah. So we not only pay more for goods and services, we also get taxed more in our savings or yeah. 401k or whatever else it is that's they'll gaining just, money. And, the, and they'll just live outside the United States. <laughs> so the hurts, where's, where's Elon live? He doesn't live in Texas. the United States. He I mean, does? Yeah. 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 Sure. Does Sorry, he but, always? No. He no. moved there because of state taxes and all that kind of good stuff. Well, Con of course. Consumer? California sucks. Yeah, California yeah. sucks. Yeah. Consumer, U.S. government. He's trying to build government. a city. Did you see that? Sorry, where, where was he originally from, though? He's from a different country. South Africa. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Did you see that? All right. End of soapbox. All right. Where were you fucking? Consumer. 
Okay. U.S. government. <laughs> not you're done tell, yet. You're not telling done me yet. the U.S. government isn't girthy enough to fill that hole at least? No, because we've been banged so much. <laughs> nah, it's just dry. It's not that thick. It's just dry. Yeah. It's just dry. All right. Spinning it. Let's go, baby. We got right, some shit. Let's get it rolling. All a right. lot of movement. Uh, we have obviously a hell of a lot of movement in uh, free agency and trades. And I just want to touch on a few of them here. The number one that just happened today, uh, the Vikings restructured the contract of quarterback Kirk Cousins to provide $16 million of uh, salary cap relief in 23. Skip the next one. Don't read that. The Rams are trading Jalen Ramsey to the Dolphins Fucking for God. a 2023 third round pick and tight end Hunter Long. I don't know who that is. Yeah, yeah me neither. That, did you guys know who he is? Yeah. yeah. He okay. got he caught one pass last year. Okay. Nine yards. Great uh, guy. This one, I, had to, I thought it was. Okay. Uh, and then the Raiders deal Darren Waller to the Giants for a third rounder. That hurt. That hurt. Those are just a few of the sub notes. I mean, there's a lot of activity going on right now. My question to you, gentlemen, is what 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 is the biggest thing that's stuck out to you guys so far? This early this early part, the early tampering period, they like to play, they like to call. What has stuck out the most to you guys? Who uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Who did the Steelers get in the secondary? Uh, Patrick oh. Peterson. So I think that's a big deal for the Steelers, just because their defense only got better. Um, and then one thing you didn't touch on uh, because it's not done yet. So Harrison is going to take a pay cut and he's going to stay with the Vikings because he wants to retire there. So that's a big deal because he's going to fit this defense way better next year. But those are the two things I wanted to touch on. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a fan of that. You're missing one. A lot of, I mean, a big oh, thing sticking plenty, out is sure. money being pushed down the, ro the road Yeah. Uh, for, for a lot of guys. Um, you, you obviously you look and you see the teams who are going to be bad. I mean, the Colts, right? They're cutting everybody, trading people. Mm. Step on Gilmore to the Cowboys. Yeah, um, I forgot to touch that. What? For a fifth rounder? Yeah. For a fifth rounder, For a fifth yeah. Round. That happened? Um, so yeah. you're you're starting to see it kind of take shape no of teams that will be tanking um, and not doing well. You know, I'm real curious about the Dolphins because they have to make a choice now on um, their quarterback situation. He knows jujitsu. He knows jujitsu. year, so. He knows It'll be real interesting how they play that out because if you're not sold on him or maybe he's banged up more or you trade, trade for Jalen Ramsey, you know, that's going to fit that defense. You're going to be a decent team. But you're not going to be picking towards the top ten of the drafts. So if you're looking for a quarterback, you know, that's where it's starting to uh, – you're starting to see some stuff take shape and starting to feel some questions. There's you know, a myself or the Dolphins, um, what happens – so, Dolphins is quarter, right. So quarter, yeah. quarterback situation, what happens? Because you trade for Jan Ramsey, that's going to help your defense out. But if you weren't sure on him, you know why would you take that gamble to make your team that much better? They took his. They took his contract on though too. That's why the Rams did it. We know why the Rams. Well, did yeah, it. yeah, we yeah, know we know why the Rams, the Rams did. Uh, it. I, I'm saying the the well, what he's the talking Dolphin. about is Miami. Yeah, like Miami. Why, why like would you take somebody that would make that team? I mean, yes. He looked bad at the Rams at, at points, but he's going to make Miami much better, especially facing Buffalo oh, as agree. many times they're going to. But if you're not sold on your quarterback situation, why make that trade to make your team that much better? Hey, his, they picked up, did, did they pick up his? They picked up his fifth year. They option. did, yeah. yeah. But they took a while. That's the thing. They did take. They, a while. they took a long time, yeah. not until this year, the end of free agency, right before yeah. free agency, before they're like, "Yeah, we'll take this last yeah. con year." I'm, I'm going to tell contract. you something real fast. Jalen Ramsey's worst game plays is against that whole division that he's in now. Was it? I guarantee it. It'll be interesting to see playing out in the weather and, you know, that comes into the play. Um, um, I got one for you guys. I read an article today. doesn't mean it's correct. Matthew Stafford wants to go play in Atlanta. That's got to be incorrect. Yeah, That's that doesn't make any sense. They have dropped two. What I see, two hundred twenty-three million in contracts already. Who they had they cut Matt Ryan? Atlanta. So, two hundred twenty-three million. Well, a lot of Atlanta that was, has. Matt Ryan was a big one. The so the one Damn. thing that like is they first off they have to go grab themselves a backup, a, a true backup quarterback. Right. I'm surprised they weren't in the market for okay. I'm not surprised that they were in the market for Jimmy because Jimmy wants to go. And that was one of the big signings too. He got he went over to the Raiders, right? Yep. Obviously, he wants an opportunity to start, so he wasn't going to go there. But you know what I'm getting at is that 
guys like that. You're telling me they couldn't lure like a Jameis Winston to go ahead and right. back up a Tua and Jameis to sit there and look at the opportunity. Like this dude can't stay on the field. Why wouldn't I? And they have a million weapons. Right. Yeah. I'm curious what they're going to do too, because with how fragile he is, and I mean that with all due respect, I really do, but mm -hmm. he gets touched, he gets flung and he's out for games. Right. Right. And when you have all that talent, it seems like you're all in, right? Yeah, you make a trade like that. You don't make a trade like that for shits and giggles. You do it because you're all in. You're building a secondary, and you lost Byron Jones on top of that, yeah, right? Yeah. So you ha you fill a an immediate need. Pre jujitsu. Pre jujitsu. That he is working on his jujitsu. Yeah, uh, it was jujitsu. Learning yeah. how to fall. I don't know. Judo or jujitsu. Judo, 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 I think. Learn yeah. how to fall or yeah, whatever. But yeah. with your head up. Yeah. I agree. I think this year would have been. Probably the better year to find a solid backup. Not somebody that's automatically going to be the guy, like yeah. getting a Lamar or something, right? But yeah. getting a really good backup at least. Yeah. Like Andy But Dalton, they haven't yeah. done anything. Like it's, even it is Andy weird. Dalton Dude. or something. You know? Kyle, like Kyle. I said, I, I, I think I called early in the year or that the quarterback carousel would be going kind of crazy. And we've seen quarterbacks going and moving. I mean, and not done yet. It's so yeah. bad that Kyle Shanahan wants Baker Mayfield. I have actually seen that. Yep. There's yeah. a lot there's a lot more interest in Baker than what I ever imagined. Like the Tampa Bay has inquired about him before. Granted, they have a quarterback need, literally, but my point is I was a little shocked that he has like a bigger market than I thought. Well yeah. So if you look at the numbers that. if you look at the numbers, Baker's better than Danny Dimes. Is he? Yeah. He, he played he played uh, really well. He led come in and led the team out off the street. Yeah. I mean yeah, you should have those. You could find out. you can find worse options, I, I imagine. Out, I mean, if you're, you know, out there. I mean, eh. and he played well with the Rams. He well, when we I saw mean, it, oh yeah. Right? So yeah, he played better than Wolford. You know, and he, I think this year though, I'm not looking at contracts and going like, yeah. I mean, Daniel Jones was kind of like ah, but then I look at across the board and I'm like. That's not bad. Quar that's not bad. Quarterbacks yeah. are going to get paid a lot, you know, and who would you really go out and do that with? They had a decent year. I, I'm not seeing any contracts. I just go, man, that's ooh, holy shit. Like, you know, Matt Ryan, when the, he went over there and signed. I see one Danny the Dimes. Closest, the closest one is exactly what you said. The Danny Dimes. Danny Dimes. Like, maybe a little that, bit, but his <laughs> wasn't that the, bad, though. I, at the end of the day, I don't think it was that bad. And it's like he played decent. And who are you going to go get a, if you think it you're was like a three that year close? Deal, basically. Yeah. And, you know? No, Miles, you got to remember, dude. In reality, that's like a thirty million dollar deal or thirty two. Oh, year. so we nailed that. It wasn't bad. We yeah, nailed yeah. that. It was way under what. We nailed yeah, that. it was way under what he said, dude. So yeah, yeah that wasn't that bad, man. I said thirty two out of the gate, baby. What What <laughs> I'm surprised about, Jim, Aaron, <laughs> is what you had talked about the last podcast, which you were talking about the Lamar, the conspiracy thing. Nobody, nobody has said shit and tried to throw a contract out there. Not Atlanta, not any of the shitty teams, yeah. not any yeah. of the, I'm not going to get a primo quarterback, so maybe I should th you know, swing dick at Lamar. None of those teams Nobody. have even sniffed Lamar. I can't even. I'm digging in to what you said, man. The conspiracy is real. I, I think it is, too. I think they're conspiring to, because like, so they're too. trying to, they're trying to nip the Deshaun they, Watson. Yeah, they made it yes. very, they made it very clear when that happened. The owner, all the owners were pissed with Jimmy Haslam mm -hmm. did, right? Yep. That they made that they're like, and this is their way of saying, "Fuck that! You let the, we let this one slide. There's nothing we can do about it, right? At the time, but we can do something about this one. Baltimore, hold your ground. The rest of us are not gonna. No, but go even after. but beyond that, so you can be pissed all you want, and you can hold your ground there. We're not gonna give you guaranteed two fifty or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you throw something out there though and make them match it? Well, right. to your point, you talked about Pittsburgh, yes. right? I'm thinking Atlanta. They're not bad. Yeah. They were way better than we thought last year. Yeah. Why wouldn't you try to get him? He's a fucking NFL MVP, man. At least push the price up. Yeah. Because I don't think the Balt I don't think Baltimore wants to see him walk either. Exactly. They just don't know what to price him at. They, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like it's. I know, also I I don't know if everyone's sold. I 100 percent agree with the conspiracy or whatever collusion. Yep. I I also I don't know if everybody's sold on what offenses he could you know. Do you have the offense to surround with them? You. Yeah. To run the Baltimore. You know, Kyle Shanahan, San Francisco, you think, but they've got a couple options, a quarterback. He, he comes to mind, you know, if the Colts could fix, f go back to what they had been doing, run the ball heavy, maybe. But people are going to have to change that offense. Sure, they'd be willing to do it, but you don't have all the pieces like Baltimore probably does right now. You know, Kyle Shanahan, I think, would be one that could do it too. But 
I'm 100 percent on board the collusion, but I also I don't think people. It's a passing league. Not yeah. not all these teams can are built and can do what Baltimore has done with him. Totally agree. They're like the best and worst thing for each other. Yes. So like he's built for them. They are literally built for him, right? Yes. So the most money he'll make probably is there. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm with you. On I, that, I dude. think so. I think. Baltimore is a right mind frame. I think San Fran, is a, San Fran would be really good too they because, be really good. hey, guess what? We're going to run the fucking ball down their throat and we're going to play stiff defense and we're going to win this under 20, you know, 20 points a game. Kinda, Shanahan's you know. so good too, yeah. Danny, you, yep. know, you know what's crazy though? I'm going to have to agree with you because have you read any what-ifs on Lamar? I've been reading what-ifs on quarterbacks that are locked with no. their teams and no what-ifs about Lamar. No, dude. What if he, you know, what if they offer this? What if they do this? There's nothing out there about Lamar right now, and it's crazy that you guys say that. Yeah, no, I was going to say, actually, the only thing that I have seen out there is literally his own, what, his own tweet that just came out because he's debunking what the hell the report is going out that he turned down $200 million guaranteed over three years. He's like, yeah. since when does uh, 133 over three years the same as $200 million? Basically in the tweet. It doesn't say it exactly like that, but it does say it is, three yeah. years, 133 mil. Right. But evidently I need an agent. They left out the $70 million in incentives for winning the Super Bowl twice. Be, and because, I mean, if you, <laughs> if, if you think he's a great quarterback – What's it? I was telling somebody this. I'm like, what's two first round picks? That's cheap. 100%, yeah. That's cheap, yeah. right? Throw yeah. whatever. Throw whatever. If you think he's a guy and he can fix your, he can pass, he can do everything you need him to do, what's two first round picks? That's cheap for a starting what you th- think that he is, what yeah. everybody thinks that he you is. You see people Agreed. trade that for more. I The the more I started looking at these teams, we, we kind of looked at this a little, little while back, but – the more we started looking at these teams, there's more teams that could be easily set up right now for him. The Jets were one of them. The Jets, the Titans, that's before they started shopping. Yeah. Before I, don't know. I don't know about the Jets. There's so many pass catchers there, and they're, it's they're, rumble, there's rumbling in the locker rooms because they're not catching passes because Zach Wilson's a shitty quarterback. But, pass right. catchers? But yeah. you, the, you know what I'm saying? The, the, they the do. Jets no, have a no, lot you, of No, they do. Years. They do. They they do. I just mean like they would be okay with running that style of offense. Oh, I'm not yeah, saying probably. the receivers would be happy about it. Yeah, that's because I, which, that's because he's but, adopted but the Forty Nine ers offense. To be fair to Lamar, he's never had two receivers or three or, whatever or three. It is. Yeah, he's had one good receiver they, typically yep. and one good tight end. Hey, we got to roll to the next. This is where we literally have differentiated because I I actually think that's more Lamar than it is could the be play calling because. So this is a uh, Eric uh, Bieniemy argument, right? We don't know which we is right. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know until he gets out there and he's actually doing it. Yeah, and he actually has the weapons to do so. He's a GM yeah. assistant coach. The dude played his cards pretty well. Well, he could have went to. Well, he could have went to the Commanders. The Commanders would have been almost perfect. Did they you, have one wide receiver. They don't right? even know did if they want that as their team name yet. Did you see <laughs> the thing about Andy Reid standing up from the NFL Players Association deal and asking why is this guy not have a head coaching job? No. Yeah, that's pretty no. cool. Pretty cool read. Look it up. I'm gonna look that up. I I haven't seen that. I'll look it up. How after many my head coaching interviews has he had, Jimmy? Fifteen plus? Are we at sixteen or seventeen Somewhere now? The ballpark. Yeah, it is insane. I get it. It is. It like I told you, that's also a punishment of being the offense coordinator for Andy Reid. For Andy. So Reed, Andy yeah. Reid is also what is hurting him. Because and Andy Reid everywhere Andy Reid is gone. He's look at the Rams. The Rams lost everybody because of Sean McVay. You can't tell me Andy Reid can't lose everybody. Come on now. It's been yeah. I, I'm not saying I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying everybody knows that Andy Reid has always called the plays. That's Andy, what we're saying. Andy Reid is probably the greatest, one of the greatest play callers we'll ever see. He's actually one of the probably one of the greatest head coaches. Well, I was gonna put somebody ahead of him. Uh, we did not talk about this yet. I actually almost had to, I had to remind John myself Gruden. about this. No, uh, the Bears traded the number one overall pick to the Panthers Ooh. for the number nine and number sixty one overall pick. Get to the it. 2024 first round pick, a 25 second round pick, and wide receiver DJ Moore. St- fucking tell them why that's a big yeah. deal. Who? who got, no, who got hoodwinked? I'll come back to you. Uh, the Panthers, you would think <laughs> right away, <laughs> yes. but hold on. Hey, oh, okay. did you not hear them come out and said, "Yeah, we're open and fielding calls for the number one pick." Now it is our pick. Uh, I heard. So I didn't hear that. I actually saw also. What's awesome about that? I need to dig that up off of Twitter. I seen that they're like, hold on a second. That I, it might have been the same thing. It was like MLF football or something. They pointed it out. They called it out. They're like, doesn't mean they're going to take that. 
But it sounds of it, they could trade down to the four where Indy is. Kick Indy up there. Indy gives them their first, get one of their first back in the in the future that they re- recoup, and then a late round pick for that. Yeah. So that, they which, they asked they the GM trade. about it, and that they're like, "Would you feel bad about whatever?" And he's like, "It doesn't matter. It's our pick. We can do what we want with it now." No, 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 no. So Let basically, me... they traded. Hold on. Okay. Then they traded all that. For basically what the, it was, it breaks down to a third rounder. Is that what I said? A third rounder for DJ Moore, right? Second round, yeah. No, whatever the sixty-one overall is, is what basically they would, what it would come down to. Yeah, that's what you traded, and you still get if you get it all back. If you get it all back, yeah. and so, still draft what you want at the number four pick. If you wanted to reset a quarterback, right. or if you wanted to give him pieces, offensive line, whatever you want to do at that point, still. I th- I think that Anthony Richardson has made a lot of teams. In that front five, whatever, all this moving around, feel better about quarterback situation. Is there a question? Are you guys ready? Maybe it's not just. Or maybe it's not Stroud and Bryce. Let me tell you guys a little something here. Here's the Colts. They fire their coach. He goes over to the Panthers, right? He gets, he's at the Panthers now. Correct? Yep. And he goes, huh, how the hell do I get back at them dirty dogs for firing me? Well, they need a quarterback. We need a quarterback. What do you recommend we do? He goes, uh, we need a first-round pick. Let's get that. Panthers get the first-round pick, right? Here's the Colts. They're bending over. They're bending over. And here's the head coach. Take it. Take it. Take it. Because they got the first pick. He fucked the Colts over again, baby. Unless they flip it around. Yes. Yes. Unless they flip it around. Yeah. Yes. No, you're actually, you're, you're not wrong. Maybe. Hey, hold on. Colts aren't. You're not going to be able to pick. You're not gonna be because who, yeah, who got the one? Yeah, the Panthers, Panthers, Panthers got the one. Did. Yeah. yeah, so they so they have the choice of kind of doing what they want. They get yeah. to take choice yeah. of quarterbacks if they choose to. Yep. I don't think they're done with Fields. I could be a hundred percent wrong. I think they grabbed all those assets in that to just build around, around, just it. around him. That yes. I do believe that, and they're and they're Ooh. spending their money already because yep. they had one of what the did they have the largest cap space? Oh yeah, hundred yes. percent. Yeah, 100%. yeah, by far, oh, right? Yeah, by far. So they've been spending that. They've been bringing in pieces. So it doesn't look like they're in a. They're still in tank. Mode. Wide receiver room looks good now. The, oh yeah, the, you uh, turned two of them into their natural wide receiver. Position. Didn't they get a linebacker from the Ravens too? Yeah, they. Who did they get? I think they the, pulled in somebody for like a four year yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Bears made the biggest move the offseason. That could possibly be made all year. That right there? Their trade with all that? Yeah, that, that is the ba- big time. That they is hood big. The Panthers. Yes. They, they hood. Now, now yeah. don't get me wrong. I'm, I understand the Panthers could. could yeah. We'll see if how they this don't, goes. Yeah. If they don't, if they this don't, is the biggest, biggest hood I've ever seen yeah. in my life. Yes. I love DJ Moore. You and guys know I love DJ Moore. If you right? stay, you have to nut this. Yeah. You have to nut this. This guy has to be... Uh, this guy has to be an all pro. It's got to, you know, because going you, you down literally as one of the best all your assets away to try yeah. to surround that yes. quarterback with talent. You gave away a legitimate wide receiver one. So who the fuck's he going to throw to? Right. Yeah. You know, They're, in the foreseeable future, their last pick better be mystery irrelevant playing quarterback for them. Taking them to the playoffs. Brock Purdy. Uh, no, I'm stating like, that's how bad they got hoodwinked. See, I think yeah. if the Panthers do, they trade better back, nail every one of those picks. If the Panthers trade back, I think this comes down to because that kid from Florida has blown the combine up and is making people really. I watched yeah, video it's, on that guy. It's, so it's him or it's uh, the Kentucky. So they the the whole year up till now until Richardson because he's destroyed shit. So yep. right, Dick. But so it's uh, C.J. Stroud is who they liked, or I can't never remember his name. The Kentucky Will Levis. Levis. Levis yeah. yeah. So yeah. they've liked those two guys. They're neither one of those are going number one. Mm-hmm. So you could you could drop, and it'd probably be Levis, right? Yep. If it was four, but well, or Richardson. No, three, because uh, Levi and Levi, baby. Who's who's right there that's not taking a quarterback? Me. Who's um, Lamar? Oh, who's top like four? Yeah, who's uh, so who's, who do we got? Uh, we have Carolina. Houston needs Houston. one. Houston. Houston's gonna take one. Who's at three? Carolina. Or uh, sorry, uh, Cardinals. Atlanta. Cardinals. Arizona. So Car- yeah, they Cardinals won't. is not gonna take one. So yep. even sitting at four. You're so going to get one. You're going to get one, one of yeah. three or four, whatever yes. you want to put that at. Now, yep. you don't. Think I would say four now, because I actually, yeah. I'm not a big combine. Like that's where I prove my shit when it comes to a quarterback. That is, some of the other stuff is kind of where I like to see like the three cone drills big yeah, for yeah. me. But that being said, you don't make a quarterback out of that for the most part. 
Unless you're Richardson, who literally blew the doors That's off. That's why of I don't like Levis. Or Levis. That's why I don't, because he played bad in the SEC. Didn't blow up the combine. I mean, he's got a big arm, but how many quarterbacks have we? Yeah, Nathan, we've seen Nathan Peterman had a big arm, too. Yeah. Um, it's like, what What do we like? Because he's 6'6 six, six and big? Like, Right, and he, took a, and he was able. He was sturdy enough to take a whooping and play right. through that yeah. whole thing. It's. I'm not big on Will uh, Levis. Not, I have not, not been. I haven't yeah. been either. But there's enough NFL teams that, for whatever right. reason, are. So there are. He's definitely that prototypical, four. right? Peyton Manning. Style I didn't know much about about Richardson myself. I, I'm being thousand percent honest there. I really didn't. And then I started looking into it more. That like, especially just before the combine, then when the combine happened, like, yeah. I made fun of the very first post that came out, and that was the broad jump, right? Or it was oh, like the yeah. high jump. And then it's like, oh, yeah, because being the best high jumper jump, in the quarterback. Yeah. Then he started really just done. testing off the charts. Yeah. Off the charts everywhere. Yeah, so. I'm big on the day. And, yeah. And the way <laughs> quarterbacks need to be in the NFL now, you have to be, Danny? you know, mobile, a threat to run. Uh, you know, it seems like oh, yeah. that's just kind of the way the game is moving at the quarterback position. It's like, man, this he reminds me. Well, see, he didn't play well in college, though, either. He didn't. You got to remember that. Who he needs, wasn't great. Who needs the well, quarterback? I, well, he didn't by he didn't by oh, yeah. by like stat um yeah. stats. necessarily by stats. Yeah. But if you actually throw on and see some of his highlights, he made yeah. plays happen. I that's Florida, where I started. Start Florida's control. been so down to. They have been. They've been very hit and miss. But you watch some of his plays. He made shit happen. Yeah. In the pocket, I'm like, okay, that's a little. That's the player you're looking for when I say you need that that yeah. X factor, that extra that extra thing that you can make something happen, yep. not just all by yep. play. That yeah. being said, I, he reminds me of Cam Newton. Hey, Jimmy. maybe maybe a little bit better, a little better looking of a passer when it comes to throwing the ball. Oh my like, god, dude! Oh my god, what? what? It's 2023, dude. Dude, hey, James. It's 2023. Can man. we roll into that next one? Because that one's gonna be a minute. One minute. No, like it's going. Okay. Yeah. This is the come we, on, let, come on. We, we get rolling. He yeah. re, he really wants to bite into this one. Yeah, I do. Let's roll. Uh, our guy, Mister Sociopath himself, John Morant, has entered a counseling program in Florida without a timetable on the return to the NBA season. Gentlemen. So when did counseling become rehab? So is like so when I think of rehab, I think for drugs or alcohol. But is 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 any time you go for counseling, is that rehab? Because I was read up that he entered a rehab facility. Yeah, it is. So basically, so every rehab facility, anything you go into rehab for, anything you go in for, it doesn't matter if it's gambling. It, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. There's counseling. There's group therapy sessions. There's individual therapy sessions. So it's it is rehab. So I so when anybody asks me if I've ever been in rehab, I can go. No, I've been to counseling. Sure, hey, sure. Play on words, but yeah. Okay. No, I'm. I'm being dead serious. Yeah. No. Every almost every facet of it. Did is, you guys see the money equation that it come out to? What they say he threw fifty k on the ground, right, and tips and all that kind of stuff, but bonuses and stuff for him not playing these games that he could potentially miss could cost him like forty million. End up costing him forty million. What's forty million yeah. to when he's how many lost how many everything? times? Uh, how many games? Because he's going to miss a certain amount of games, so he won't eclipse the games played mark. Um, and all that kind of stuff, and that could hit forty million. That that fifty grand cost him. I yeah, have, you got to remember this contract was two hundred plus million. Yeah, so he's got all yeah. these incentives, yeah. right? Yeah, James. One let's was, let's say you're a hardened criminal. Yep. Made it made it out of the the suburbs, flashing your gun every day, right? Oh, you, out of the suburbs, okay. Had, 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 had a flash day. had a flash yeah. your, had a flash your gun every day, right? Because yep. you because you so hard, right? Yep. You become worth fifty million dollars. What emphasizes in your brain? Let's keep doing this shit, dog. Because I got you here this far. No, his ball playing got him that far. Not his off the court shit. Yeah, if he kept doing his off the court stuff the entire time, they got that. Clarence's parents had a real nice marriage. Yeah, and that so that's where it is, man. Yeah. So now he is the breadwinner. If you're the breadwinner, you don't listen to anybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have the money. Your parents don't tell you shit because you probably bought their house, yeah. right? You take care of everything for your friends. Obviously, his crew, because his crew they're does all, not seem great. They're all going to suck his balls because yeah. obviously they don't want their meal ticket. So, to so, right? so you don't have anybody in your ear telling you you're doing wrong. 
That's my point. Right. So right. you're going to risk everything that you gave to everybody. No. He doesn't know any better. No. So right, well, I'm not saying he doesn't know any better, but, you know. He, I've he defended a, him He doesn't time. have somebody no, you're in good, his ear okay. say, fucking, this, you need to knock this shit off. You're going to lose everything. He's not thinking like that. He, he's he's thinking he's invincible. He's, he's what, 23, 22, whatever? So, yeah. He's young as hell. 200 million yeah. some odd dollars. It's not. Yeah. You can't tell me he's not watched of every minute of every day. He is. Well, who's going to tell him no? Yeah. Right. Who's going to tell him no? He's got the money, bro. That's why everybody follows him. That hey, damn hey, Alabama hey, player hey, bringing I, him I, Hey, I'm going to I'm going to tell you the same thing in a small smaller scale, Henry Ruggs. Millionaire, right? Nah, driving nah, dr- driving nah, drunk. Nah. Driving drunk. Yeah, kill somebody. One decision. One decision that man pissed that, away that is, his whole That isn't the first time he did. Miles. Right, that's not the first. Not he the first could, time all he had to do was pull the trigger that he's pointing at these people. And that one decision he's gone forever. But he, pointed Henry, a gun Henry at Ruggs people, was bro. carrying a gun that night. But he also. didn't pull the trigger, though. Right. Is that, it that much different? You want to compare with Hunter? I, I disagree. No, no, I'm Coleman. talking about the timing, yeah. right? So he could have easily. Yes. All of a sudden, everything's different, Miles. It's by a flip of a switch. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. one little yeah. Split thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it goes That's one way saying. or the other. Just by split hair. It's like the same thing that you talk to anybody when you, when you find out that uh, somebody has a criminal record, right? They got picked up for drinking when they were younger. Yeah. They were partying. They did some B&E, whatever the scenario, right? What's B&E? Breaking and entering. <laughs> okay. No, so, bread and breakfast. Uh, right. But my point is, is that Dude. there's a reason why <laughs> 90, you know, of the people that don't have that, 90% of them that don't have some version of a charge like that is because they didn't get caught at that particular time. Yeah. They all did something stupid. They dr- uh, drinking and driving. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Buying alcohol for somebody, uh, for an underage person. Uh, it, does, it doesn't matter what, it, what the scenario until was. It catches all, you. Until literally that one moment. And then people judge yeah. that yeah. one person, even though they all did the same right. damn thing. They just didn't get popped. Okay, so give it. So like I said, and there's last, nobody to, in their ear until all of a sudden you see it happen. But right? last time I said, give him a break. You know, he's still young. Let him learn. Yeah. Right. I've still got that motive. Yeah. But you don't use rehab as a fucking crutch so that you can go back and make your fifty million dollars. He has to. He has to. That, no. That's probably a PR thing, dude. That's, yeah, that's probably, probably the NBA. You probably, probably yeah, is. Like, you have to. That is. Yeah. That's even. You got to be away from the team and that's you got to go into. That's an insult to everybody that goes to rehab. Who is the unless it's court ordered? Unless it's court ordered. Who's the big man that played for the Grizzlies? I think he played for the Lakers. Uh, he's been around for um, oh, not, not uh, Zebo. Uh, Mark Gasol. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, uh, he got with one of the sisters and he OD. Lamar. Uh, yeah, oh, Odom. 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 No, that's not home thinking. What? Uh, another big man. He's not in the NBA right now, but he's another big man like Thug, like fucking badass. He was compared to Brittany Griner. Oh, she said she could beat him in one on one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, I can't think of his name off the top of my head. Gosh, what? And yeah. they laughed. God damn it. Oh, Joanna oh, Man. No, no, no. Uh, uh, God. Randolph? No, 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 it's no. not Zebo. It's not Zebo. No, okay. it's not Zebo, but uh, God damn the it. other guy. Yeah, cousins. Yeah. Yes, yes. Demarcus Cousins. Dem- yeah. So he came out the other day, and he's like, "This is exactly why we need X amount of veterans in every locker room, because if you had guys like me in that locker room, he wouldn't have been doing this shit." No, oh, right. And so he had. Right. He even had Stephen Adams, who came out and said, "Listen, guys, we got to blah blah blah." It didn't help, right? Yeah, right? So you need more guys to back that voice I like in that. the locker room. I like, and that. I did too. Yeah, yeah, I did too. I'm See, like, you, was- you need more veterans. You can't have a full young team. Yeah. This happens. And some of that came from almost directly what they did, too. So, Stephen Adams, don't know how he came up. Pro- I mean, probably had his own different, uh, maybe even rough upbringing. But it's still not the same as, you know, a, a young black male in America. It's not the same. Just yeah. like he's not going to listen to him the same way he would listen to a Boogie Cousins. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Like, hold hey, on. But- We're not from the cut from the same cloth. That's what he's going to think automatically. So, you're not going to listen. So, it's got to be someone that's either A, went through it, or N, Come and up be, through it. And it. be someone that's respected too. Yeah. It can't just be like, you know, we're gonna go ahead and bring in uh, old Derek Fisher when he used can to play you, or something. You know, can you, you know what can, I'm saying? Can, like, can you okay. base can you base friendships on some of that? Like, let's say like two people click right out of the gate, right? You don't know, you know, you guys don't know each other's past, right? And then you're sitting there one night, and then you're spilling the beans to each other, and you're like, oh shit, no wonder we clicked. You know sure. what I mean? Isn't, yeah, sure. Isn't that like the heart to heart that you have every single time you're hanging out with Tyler? Sometimes there's not heart to heart. Sometimes it's <laughs> shut up. It's a lot. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a, a lot, lot of, of there's a lot of love or remorse going on. There's a lot of <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but I mean that Yeah. Yeah, I mean, can you agree with that though? Yeah. Yep. 
but just to be real, so about Ja, right? Like, I don't know if this therapy thing is going to help, but I hope enough people and enough money has been taken from his pocket where he realizes, like, I got to fucking fix shit. Because he could be great. Not just a very, very good player in the NBA. He could be great. Right. And so he has he's at a crossroads, right? So I can either be one of the best ever, potentially, yeah. take Memphis of all teams to right. the NBA Finals. Right, right. What Mike Conley wanted to be. Exactly. You know, what we, what we no was Danny. Be. Yeah, Danny, dude. what's these last three years been? What the you, comeback story. Yeah. The last three years has been the comeback story. All right, everybody. Next year, take your money. Put it all on comeback player of the year. Put it on John Morant. It's going to hit. He's taking him to the playoffs. He, he had a chance to be the MVP of the season, man. He was He's yeah. that good. So At 23 years old, he could have been MVP, so he's got five more left it, in him. It doesn't matter how many he has left, right? So it's like you have a chance to be something and you have a choice. You literally are in control of this, and I hope he does, man. Regardless, I don't yeah. necessarily like Memphis, but for the sake of this young man, I hope he does. Let him piss yeah, it down his just, leg. He's it's going to make him want it ten times more. He's young. I hope this straightens him out. I, I wish it would have been a little bit sooner than the Instagram video. I wish it would have been someone would have stopped the shit way before. But right. you know what? This is literally it. Agree a thousand percent. This is literally you correct the shit now, and you and you become a saint. You learn how to be that person that you were supposed to be, that gro- that role model, whatever you you're trying to be, that superstar. Yeah. But be responsible right. with that shit. Surround because that now, also starts with surrounding yourself with the right fucking people that right. will man up and tell you. You know, it comes back to you having the leadership or the veteran presence around you. But that same thing with your inner group. Yeah. Right. There, you can't have yes men all the time. Because you can't have it. You don't want to be. That's not what he wants to be. Ultimately, remember, no. bias. I flashed a gun on Instagram Live on a kid out on the courts, and uh, now you got a picture of me on with 50 G on the ground with a stripper. You know, ass exactly. in my face. That's not how he wants to. That's not how he wanted to be remembered. Oh my god, dude, way, I do. So, in the moment, <laughs> he says. Right, but like yeah, as a no, career, but I, like, I'm with you. Yeah, no, you know, that's not. Right. And now this is the reality <laughs> he's in. Yep. yep. Do or die. Can you uh, agree that certain friendships lead to certain things? That maybe could. maybe he yeah. had affiliates. Yeah, dude, I fucking hate the Vikings now. I never had a problem with this. Them. Oh, Jesus Christ! I've hated the Cowboys my whole life, so there's not. Oh, yeah, there you, prior to there you go. Yeah. I was like, Vikings are pretty cool. Purple. What I, I still color? only I hate the Forty Nineers. I still only hate the Forty Nineers. But yeah, Miles, you, you're right. It's the people that you surround yourself with, right? So if you have a whole group of people that are like, you never do anything wrong. That's not good because then you're going to fuck shit up. Potentially, That's what right? comes with money and fame. People yeah. are going to protect yeah. their. So you, you fell out you, money and they're going to protect what they're, you, getting, the you little fell, they're getting. You fell right into the trap. I wanted you to say that. Here's a trap. I wanted you to say that okay. because nine times out of 10 preachers, daughters are the kinkiest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm saying if John Moran, I don't know on a personal level. But no, but I'm saying John Moran. I definitely have seen John Moran had a, that start that way. John Moran had to leave this lifestyle, right? Like he was so good, so good, so good. Like his family always had everything. See, on the other hand, some of us grew up where our family lost everything to drugs and alcohol or gambling. And then some of us are like, you know what? I'll never touch that. That one particular thing. That's true. But yeah. then you feed into something else that you family, you know. They didn't have the funds for that, you yeah. know, so you let do me, that. Let me give you a little example of that I don't, to build on what it. you're saying. So it was Sean Taylor did that. I don't know if you guys remember that football player, of course, one of the best safeties. Who, that never, I heard never heard of him. Never heard of that fucker. He Washington came down with a machete. Dirty, right? But my point is, is when where he came from and then he came to the, you know, into the NFL, he actually started secluding himself from his old family, way, his old ways completely, like literally cut ties. They said he literally stayed, if he wasn't at the practice facility or working out, with the team, he literally stayed and basically barricaded himself in his home. He stayed out of all of that. Like that, he, that wasn't the life he wanted to be a part of. Mm-hmm. He built himself out of that. So that's what I'm trying to get at. There are people like that. There but why is Sean like, Taylor not here? His wife's birthday party invited his old, old friends. He did not. He did not. She did. Well, he still got. He got shot in the leg. In the leg was, with yeah, was a by robbery. his home friends. Robbery. It was a home robbery. home robbery. By his friends. Okay. I haven't looked that up. I no, that's what up. I'm stating. He didn't want he kept those people yeah. away yeah. Yeah. until his that. wife's birthday party. Which in theory I think You know this for a fact because you know I watched a documentary on it. I watched okay. a documentary okay. on it. He got shot in the thigh and 
as much as we all love that guy and think he, you know, like he's the man, right? Like if he's win- he's one of the best ever. If he's willing to machete at me, that's enough for me not to even shoot. But the fact that he got shot in the leg and died, like that sucks. Like, yeah, I'd pay for it to go. I think they were doing it for insurance claims. <laughs> oh, I'm, just, I'm, lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. I love that guy. All right, so let's do a quick rundown. I'm going to take, so it gives you guys a second to pull up your brackets. Nah. I'm going to take the south region. That's very top left. Uh, Miles is going to take the Midwest. Between Rio and Danny, you guys pick. You guys pick and choose between the east and west. Just name the winners going down your bracket. That's it. And we'll get to our particular one that gets to our final four. So on mine, I got the Bama as the one seed. I got Zona as the two seed down there. I got Bama winning, Maryland winning. Or the East or West? Uh, uh, West. I'll do West. Okay. Uh, I got San Diego State winning. I got Virginia. I got North Carolina State as my first upset. Uh, 11 versus 6 over Creighton. Uh, I got Baylor, Missouri, and Zona. That's my first. That's my round of 64. Right. Going into the second one, I got Bama over Maryland. I have San Diego State, Virginia. I have Virginia winning that game. Uh, I have North Carolina State, Baylor. I have I'm gonna I'm gonna take North Carolina State to keep rolling actually as an 11 seed. Uh, I got Missouri and Zona against each other, and that is going to be that one's gonna be Zona. I like go, it. Go back to the top there. I got Bama. What I tell you, I have Bama and you're you're going detailed. Who's coming out? Bro? Yeah, that's dude, all we want. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who's coming out? Well, can we just I don't know. I'm wait? Can we do something different before you roll into this? What do you got? So we're gonna film on Friday. Can we? Can I got we, Zona. Can we do a bracket? Yeah. And I like then, that. And then come yeah, after we this? Can. No, we're just gonna do it. Right oh, here. okay. Yep. So you got who? I got Zona coming out of the South. See, that's BS because now we're gonna do our bracket exactly right. No, now. we won't. All right, I got the Midwest. I could change on a flip of a dot. Who's all coming right. out, Miles? That's all I want. Well, can I do my one upset? All right, go ahead. I got Drake making it to the sweet. Uh, I got him yeah. making it to the 32, losing to Houston, and then Houston winning. I got Houston winning it all. You got Drake, you got Drake going to the, the sweet six, 16. Six, six, yeah, sweet, yeah. yeah. No, it's round 32 because they lose the. No. Am I saying that wrong? Yes, you are. I, okay. I just okay. Yeah. 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 You haven't yeah. make it to the Sweet Sixteen because they lose to Houston. But who goes all the way in that bracket? Houston. I got Houston winning. So A Z in Houston so far. Yep. All yep. right. Rhea, you want to go or you want me to? Yeah. Go ahead. All right, man. Who's who? I'm doing the East. He's, He's doing the right. East. I'm doing the West. Uh, Houston's gonna make it out of this bracket, man. What? I, yeah. You're in the wrong one. You're in the. I'm in the West. You're, yeah, that's not, the, that's, that's the not, Midwest. That's Midwest. That's yeah. what Houston I, is. that's what I just said. Yeah, Kansas said. has one seed in, yep. in yours. Holy shit. It's okay. Oh, I'm up here. Okay, my bad, my bad. All right, so let's look at this. You're in 1999's bracket. What do you, but I have, Rio might have to go first. Please. Okay, I'll go first, yep. yeah. So I got, uh, you know, Purdue taking care of business, Memphis, um, Duke taking care of business as well. <clears throat> Um, Tennessee, Tennessee as well. Kentucky's, um, that one actually is probably a toss up for me or Providence. Um, I could see Providence pulling that one off. Uh, Kansas state's going to win. I'm going to see USC beat Michigan state. Um, and then Marquette, you know, I'm going to see Marquette probably coming out of this side, honestly. Um, I'm going to see Marquette taking out USC. Yep. Uh, I have Kansas State taking out Providence. What? Um, whoa, 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 you can't have that. Why? If you got Marquette beating you know, USC, then it's got to be Marquette. Mar- Marquette's way at the bottom, bud. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be Marquette versus Kansas State next. No, no. no I'm, it's I'm versus the... Michigan State or USC. Yeah. So You're probably saying Prov- Providence and Kansas State playing. Kansas State beating them. Marquette beating USC. They're going to play each other. Okay, Marquette beating USC, mm-hmm. sliding yep. up. Okay, uh, Purdue beating Memphis, um, Duke taking out Tennessee, I'm going to have Purdue beating Duke, and then Marquette obviously taking care of business on that side. Uh, I think Marquette, you know, comes out of this side uh, looking pretty good. I want to give one little dark horse here. I actually like Memphis. 
I like I I had Marquette going to mine. I made one bracket. I had yep. Marquette going out of there. Yeah. But I like Memphis for some reason. They Taking out Purdue. A little bit. Yeah. Taking out Purdue. Yep. Danny, typical yeah. guy rolling with the blue buds. It's always happening. Let me see this. Apparently, I'm pulling up like bracketology, so Ooh, it's not even okay, the right. right. Bottom, hey, yeah, roll right. with that. You might be right. right. Yep. Okay. What? All right. So I am doing okay. The West. Yeah. Jesus. I had bracketology apparently pulled up. So out of the West, I'm gonna make it quick because we're running close on time. Let's see. UCLA like UCLA is coming out of this right now. What the fuck is up with you? UCLA, UCLA is going to make it to the <laughs> Final Four. Just so everybody knows, mark it, book it, fucking bet on it. He he needs to get some brewing shit, right? Dude, He's yeah, what the brewing? You gear. might as well. Danny. You. Let's go. I got it, I'm too, with you, Miles. Who, you got him, who, who you got him losing to? So Houston, Houston, nope, right? we're not going there yet, man. Hey, we're, we're each one of us have a Final Four team that we selected out of ours. That sounds like a warm whiskey wager. Yep, whiskey wager. For the other three. three. So don't. if you're wrong, you take it? Yep. Okay. There you go. Done. Check. Yep. I mean, yeah. Horns are going to fucking go all the way. They're at that top side. Hold baby. on. There's a reason why I kept you out of that, <laughs> out of that <laughs> side. I know. I know. Because hey, Texas legit, is very legit, hot right hold now. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Starting Thursday, I got some personal time left to bet to burn and uh I know where a fan duel is at. Hey, motherfucker, we're working together. Yeah, well, you're going to be with me, so they can figure it out. <laughs> we'll be at the casino betting on sports all day. All right. Hey, Who's got to make sense time. tonight, boys? I do. Go ahead. Hopefully, you're Good. doing the fucking... I got to piss, so I'll leave You this. ready for this? Hopefully, I was part of it today. Oh. No, that's exactly where I was going to go. Oh, good. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was... And I'll tell you if you tell it right. <laughs> if... Said employees are supposed to test hourly. Okay. And we are running a room that requires three people. Yeah. We are running this pe- room with two people, me and Rio. So shorthanded. Right? Short, well, shorthanded or they just think me and Rio got it. Either or. Don't know. Can't comprehend. Doesn't matter. Get told we, you know, we got to do our normal testing and Rio holds me to it. No, no truth. No now. No BS. Got to do it. Got to do it. Miles. Got to follow by the book. Miles. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, we bend corners around here. Vice versa. (laughs) Anyways, we test our first set of pellets. Did all that correctly. Rio takes them up there because we don't have time to kill. Gives them to the guy in charge of testing. The guy whose sole job is testing. Mm-hmm. This guy test him. Yep. What time you think? Nine, nine thirty, ten. Jeez, oh, actually nine, nine, yeah, nine, from, nine yeah. o'clock. It's right, nine o'clock. Yeah. So he tests him. Yep. Rio goes up at about. Uh, oh, we take lunch. Yeah, we take lunch, but then you go up about one, uh, right, right before one, right? Or no, on our way to lunch, you took him up. It was. So at twelve fifteen, or. 11.45, you take them up because we took a 50-minute lunch, right? Okay. You have this story wrong. Yeah. Already. What? Well, you took them up anyways, right? Yeah, so I he, took them up. Yeah, so yeah. he takes up the second set of samples, and yep. the, the mm-hmm. guy goes, well, they're testing low. What What the fuck? Don't you got two feet? You could have come and told us that. No news. It's good news. Right. So we thought everything was a okay, baby. Yeah. Let's go. So, so that is a general rule of thumb where we work. Like if you, no news is good news, and you're supposed to blend until break. Yeah, blend until blend breaks, until break unless you hear otherwise. Test the breaks, and we were a little off just because we we had to do a turn around for the room and stuff. So, yeah. but you know we had like one blended up or whatever, and, and I do a detailed turn around. We were, I don't know, <laughs> but anyways, uh, <laughs> the times were a little off. So we weren't testing exactly at our break. It was a little bit off. But, yeah, we dropped the sample off. Uh, A guy who's supposed to that his sole job of coming in for eight hours is to test material, and that is it. That's the end of job. And I love said guy. I love said guy. I don't. Fuck him. But I just couldn't couldn't wrap my head. Like, I didn't even know anything about it until, like, Rio goes. Yeah, they try to be pissed. It's not testing right. And he goes, Uh, what? And he goes, yeah. The, and I'm like, oh shit! I know how this works. So we're in trouble. No, no, no. And they he goes, yeah, oh, well, oh, pretty much, yeah. Oh no, we weren't because I stopped that shit dead in the tracks. They try to be all, oh well, fuck. You, you just kept blending. Oh uh, yeah. Oh fuck, y'all didn't stop them. No, I gave it to the lab guy. Well, yeah, it was bad. Did you come fucking find us? Well, do you have legs that fucking work that you can get out of the fucking chair? 
See, then I then then he hits us with it. I come down there. You weren't in there. I'm like, so then well, you're probably in the break room. Do your feet fucking work? Because you know where the break room's at. <laughs> right. And I was like, I'll leave it at that. And I know we said that word for word because I caught the end of it because I got one of these. And I was like, and I was like, uh, I'm going outside. No, no bueno. <laughs> trying to push, trying to push the shit off on you guys, even though you literally r- ran by like how we normally run. Yeah. Like, there was nothing out of the ordinary yeah. from what you guys said at no, all. No. If you, no different than what anyone you else would have done. If you don't hear anything, then I mean, everything must no, be but, good. But, yep. you, but, you, but the make sense part of it is, okay, you got caught not telling us. Why are you going to try and trickle that down on us? Like, Why did it take like, that literally, long for him to be like, hey. I'm testing you, and what, what's the matter? It was all wrong. So then you just kept letting us blend instead of finding us or leaving a note of any yeah, kind. Yeah, hold on. Right. He came down once, right, and said yes. you weren't there. That's what he said. Yeah. That's what he said. Yes. But it was so bad that you guys couldn't continue blending. How dare you continue blending, but did not That's try all even harder. But but, 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 three. but but yeah, yeah. but still didn't try even harder to even try to find you yeah. or even come down or leave a note. Did he leave a note on your nope. clipboard? No, 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 nothing. No note on the clipboard. That's weird. Hold on. Yeah. Jesus. The, I'm no, not. That I'm not even as simple as I what? wasn't. I wasn't that worried about it. I thought that shit Dennis tried. No, you yeah. you missed. I, you I missed told the lead point. lady, your I don't know what her job title is, but I was just like, I could give a fuck because guess what? He didn't try that fucking hard. Like <laughs> I said, right. like I said, I I'm not mad, but then when you go try to like let shit roll downhill, and I'm like, huh, shit, dude, I'm running the bagger. I'm only wrapping pallets. Chris is doing the same, and he's blending. I'm like. We don't know what's going on. We're rolling by the seat of our fucking pants oh, right no, now. I know exactly what's going on. Yeah, he's like, Miles, you yeah. shit ass beggar. Yeah, how are you supposed how to know you, if nobody tells you? Said you? That? Right? Guy seen it in your eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he, did. he did. He did. I I do have <laughs> resting bitch face because I'm like standing there, not mad, no nothing. He's like, hey man, I just I don't want you to be mad. Like I I can go wrap these or whatever. I'm like, what? I'm, he's like, yeah, man, I can go do this. I don't want you to be mad. I'm like, I'm not mad. <laughs> yeah, dude, I thought for sure he was <laughs> mad. That was a real conversation we had. I don't know. I was I know I'm resting bitch face, but he's come over. Dude, he's dude. like he's like I'll I'll go wrap it. Here's like Chris. you can stop. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, oh shit! What I do like, wrong? I'll go, I'll go, I'll stop, and I'll go rap, and you can whatever and bag if you need to. Uh, he's like, I just don't want you to be mad. I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah, I don't want you to be mad. Like, I'll go do this. I'm like, nah, dude, I'm good. Just keep fucking bagging. Hey, no, you're good, dude. Just keep fucking going. I don't, God damn it. I don't oh, care. Yeah, dude, I thought for sure he was about to half foot me to the face. Oh, man, we, uh, we were, everything was working good. People were leaving me alone. People, I was leaving. Yeah, you alone. we were doing we were great. Just kind of rolling. Yeah, doing our thing. Nobody bothered us. Except for the Appreciate fucking those. stupid shell rock fucking people. <laughs> yeah, huh. That lasts about 30 seconds when I was like, I made fun of them. Does anybody want to go to shell rock next quarter? I work at shell rock. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? No, he didn't, did he? I swear in to in God. In the safety meeting? Yeah, so in, <laughs> in the safety meeting, they're like, does anybody want to go to shell rock next quarter? And none of us are saying anything. <laughs> I'm like, dude, definitely you work at... I work at Shell Rock, and they're like, except for you. Ha, ha, ha. I'm like, what? why are we re- entertaining that right now? It's all right. As, uh, I, as I walked out the door, <laughs> they were, like, getting in the vending machine, a safety vending machine. And they're like, uh, yeah, something about a knife or whatever it doesn't. I was like, oh, we don't need that shit. We're not Shell Rock. He's like, ah, I work at Shell Rock. I just look back and go dipshit and can't walk out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Look at Jess can't oh. fucking go in. They're getting rid of our knife? I Trying to, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, makes sense if you don't. Think hey, Danny. 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 Really love you. Love your job. Love everything about you. Hey, what, yeah. what are you doing these days? It's a good Danny. time. Selling shit, man. Hey. Selling shit. Pyramid yeah. scheme, baby. If you, if you need a guy, I know a guy. Selling yeah. the moon. Sell, some, sell you some shit if you need <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> right? And you get your dick hard. What's up? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, don't want, <laughs> you don't want that. Though. You, don't want that. you don't want that. Selling we, pyramids. We, we are, not all of them. We call him Dick Hard Danny. So what? Dick Hard Danny. Tables Get raising. out of here. Tables raising. Tables raising. Tables push ups, raising push ups with no ready. hands, man. Dude, Let's hand go. check. What the hell were you doing to Rio? Jesus. No, I was actually touching Danny, but <laughs> doesn't matter. I just filled up a cup. Did though. you know I could do? Du- <laughs> did you know I could do double jacks? Like, so if I got you and then I like caress it with this one, I could what double the fuck? <laughs> First of all, the fact that you've thought about oh this is not impressive to me. Oh, hold on. Does it shock you though? You know what he came into the studio with, right? <laughs> Lisa Love the Special. I've ever seen one. Whatever chumbo shit. Shit. The fact that he sends us text and he says somebody's name and you're like, who's that? And Miles like, oh my God. That's obviously a porn star or something crazy. Yes. Like, uh, like, Johnny Sins. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, listen, he's a Viking forever. There he is. Johnny Sins is? Yeah. 
You don't remember that? <laughs> so at the Vikings game, was it the oh, playoff game? That. Yes, I saw Yeah, that. at the playoff game, he was the military guy. So yes. they took a military, so it was from a porn. He, he was in military gear. Oh my he was a porn God, star. Yes. No the Vikings way. took yes. that and used that shit. Like, yeah, dude. Yeah, they were like, yeah. uh, hey, this is give him a shout out. This is my cousin in the military. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they put his like, and they were like, uh, yeah, uh, shout out to this military man for his service or whatever. That's right. <laughs> so fucked up. So fucked up, but funny oh, as fuck. I do you remember it? Shout out Johnny Sins and the Vikings. Oh, Thank man. God we're Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> we salute you. <laughs> Listen, you need to hire some more inappropriate motherfuckers. To be part of that fucking <laughs> club you got up there, man. Right. Give me a desk or something. Fucking yeah. funny. Oh man. All right, let's wrap this bitch up, boys. So I'll make your mom. <laughs> you beautiful people out there that happen to find us on the interwebs, be sure to like, subscribe, share it. The whole nine yards. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Our OnlyFans. Hit us up. OnlyFans for sure. Uh, where's the podcast available, though, Jimmer? Anywhere and everywhere podcasts are available. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and YouTube, 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 not RedTube. 100%, baby. Make sure you hit us up. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. YouTube's the big deal. But on the podcast side, if you got a story to tell, make sure you hit us up. But, gentlemen, where do they hit us up? Well, if you're not wearing a tinfoil hat, you're not hitting me up. So if you got a tinfoil hat, slide on in my DMs. In the DMs. In the DMs. Rio, what if DMs. what if they don't want to tell names and shit, though? I mean, we can make them up. It's cool. But have a tinfoil hat. Yeah. Or pretend. Don't don't worry. Pretend. We'll edit it out. Well, anything that needs to happen, we can cut it. Make up names. doesn't matter as long as we get the story out we, to all the folks yeah. who want to hear it. We don't have to know how you met a guy in rehab and you end up marrying him and then you both slept together and now here we are. Fuck off. What you tell my story like that? On? No shit. <laughs> Air out people's dirty laundry. Jesus, that's a HIPAA violation. I'm pretty sure. Uh, don't make me slap you. What's going on? Uh, real quick, as long as the dude uh, gets back, hopefully he does, uh, gets back to us, we do have a guest on him. Right. <laughs> that is one Mr. Stacy Butcher from Kansas City. Yeah. Now we're gonna find out whether we're, we're gonna find out whether Jimmer was sloshed, sloshed. Because I the remember guy you punched in the face. No, no, not this one. No, that'd be, <laughs> that'd just, be interesting. Just before that, that'd be interesting. <laughs> right. uh, this guy sounded like he knew exactly what he was talking about when it came to sports. Uh, different take than what you're used to of hearing, like the Jordan LeBron goat conversation. Not the typical yeah. stuff you see every time. Interested to see what he's got to say. Does he and, know about uh, the guy in Kansas City that tried to get arrested at T-Mobile because he got called a retard? No. <laughs> oh, we'll, he, we'll he talk about nobody. that on the next yeah. one. <laughs> we'll educate him. We also have uh, <laughs> Curtis Ellis, so in and out like a short dick, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he's fighting in uh, on the 25th. Okay. Uh, to, to Buke area, I don't remember which one of the quad cities. Uh, offhand, but we're going to try to get him in too before he does his fight because it's his first fight in like a year, man. Oh, Everybody's shit. dodging. Nobody wants to fight him, and he finally got one locked in. So we're going to hopefully yeah. talk to him before. Hell he yeah. Him. Can't wait. Okay. Yeah. Miss me some Curtis. A hundred percent, man. But goddamn, it's been good to have all four beautiful people in this bitch tonight. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just want you guys to know that. But we're going to go ahead Paul and get out of here. shit on us. God damn it, Miles. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for listening. This is 3 Gig Sports. We out.